What's up everyone? Today we're in Texas. Um, yesterday, if you watched our video, we were in the water slides and, and that was amazing. And right now we're just in the middle of nowhere in Texas, like small little towns everywhere you go. I'm actually loving Texas. A lot of places are just really run down and I love that stuff. So we're here in Bartlett, Texas. Um, this was Main Street. I'm gonna go show you all around here how it looks now. I've been driving through a lot of random towns in Texas and it seems really normal to see like run down buildings like this pretty much you know owned by you know pretty much independent shops just sitting here almost like an old cowboy western look old antique shop type of thing um, I, I think the last two remaining buildings are actually these two on the side on this strip of Main Street we're gonna walk around here and just see what's what's up I think it's pretty much Hollywood movies that got me into this but I love the idea of southern small towns that pretty much are run down old and you, know, you get to go to them and pretty much you'll see your daily uh, people you'll see every day going to the same old coffee shops seeing the same old people you'll know I think that's cool pretty much you know a lot of friendly people here in the south that's for sure down south down south this looked like it was once an old diner I'd say that because the clothes sign right here has some sort of drink on it. This old sign that was once embedded in the brick wall. I can't really read it, but I know it says um, hotel dining at the park calf. So this must have been a really, you know, old hotel right here, this building. But I love ghost towns for sure. It's hard to see in there. If we zoom in, we're gonna get some kind of footage. I think I see a pink flamingo over there. Now you're wondering why is there a headband on my head, right? Well, I didn't feel like doing my hair today and I got lazy, so I went to Walmart and bought a headband. People are gonna say, oh, that's gay. But personally, I'm not gay. I have nothing against gay people either. I have a lot of gay friends. Just I wanted to wear a headband. Everyone's so judgmental online, right? Ah, oh, no way. This was a fudge shop. And this is a newer one. Damn. We're gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to find some locals around here and ask them why is this place so abandoned. That's the best way to do it. Hey, I gotta, I gotta ask you a question if they haven't asked you. Why is, why is everything closed down here? Well, uh, the big box stores opened in the 80s. We used to have, this used to be a grocery store actually. Oh, oh this building. Yeah. Is this your building? Or? Yes, it is. Well, that's awesome. There used to be like five grocery stores in town one time and a butcher shops, cleaners, all kinds of little mom and pop stores and when the big box stores opened everything kind of sh shut down and that big box like like cha Walmart. like big like Walmart and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I was just talking about that how how uh, we we've been seeing a lot of independent stores uh, just abandoned. Yeah. That's well, that's a story here mostly, most of it. Yeah. People don't want to shop local and the people here are exceptionally stupid and cop stories. Oh really? Oh jeez. Oh, yeah. Hey, Marcus, he's a good guy. He's a good one? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey. What's up, Marcus? How you doing? <laughs> Ass. He's American, so I like to say. Yeah. <laughs> All right. When, when was the last time they kicked him out of office? Uh, so, so you're just upset about, like, the mayor not doing stuff for the street? Or? Well, the mayor, the mayor, if you talk to him, especially if you're a pretty girl, he's going to tell you he's with the CIA or the FBI. <laughs> really? He came to me and he told me he was an assassin for the Air Force. Really? Yeah. Sounds like a really cool mayor, man. <laughs> now, uh, it used to be a lot of antique stores, but now we don't even have that. This this guy over here with a white paper is. Oh, uh, yep. He was the mayor who just got unelected. Or he didn't run again, but he robbed his blind like all the other mayors do. So. A lot of these houses are being re-renovated inside. Well, a few of these houses are being re-renovated, and he actually lives here, and he's going to show us um, his place, how he has a bank vault inside of his house. He's also um, starting a business here, and he's hoping to, you know, get just start it up, get it alive again. Ago, and this, this building was built in 1905, and uh, the whole town is in an uproar because we've... Uh, we, I don't know, we changed it. It looks different. It's so you weird. put a little bit of change into something and, you know, they're, they're, they're getting a little, yeah, they're unhappy. That's, that's how it is, though, in this whole world. Um, you do a little bit, you do something different and you're going to hear... look, it's, it's a professional job. It's, there's nothing shoddy about it. It's not half-assed and it's, it's yeah. No, it's a, it's a great door. It's, it's just, like a $7,000 door. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. a nice barber chair. It's an antique. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely a unique um, antique. 
This has whole a vintage look to fireplace it. looking thing is actually from a movie. I think it's from the Star Phil and Henry. Huh. Really? Wow. Oh, that's that's a this movie prop. The house or did you buy this? Came with the house. Came with the house, everybody. Yeah, that's and the here's vault. the vault, everybody. Yeah. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. Look at the vault. Bunko here's the vault that came with this house. house. That's it. Like I said, it's a gringo spelling. I kind of screwed it up. It should be a J. <laughs> that's all right. Hey, at least you have a nice vault in your yeah. place. Yeah. This, the uh, company that made this thing, and they're out of business. Oh, man. Everybody's out of business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Whoa. Whoa, that is a lot. And this is a vault inside of this guy's house. Dude. Dude. You can, you can hide people in here. Yeah, dude, you can totally like hide people in this vault. Wow. Not a lot to see. Must be easy. The building that I live in, uh, I met one old man who's now dead, but um, he told me from 1909 to 1927 this building was a bank. And then uh, it became an optometrist's office, and then it was a, a lawyer's office, and uh, a gynecologist's office and uh, a lingerie. lingerie store and uh, <laughs> the old people that are alive today remember it as being the Dowdy grocery store. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, when was it open? Uh, this building? When the, was it built? The Dowdy grocery store I think closed about 1980. Wow. And uh, since that time it's been an antique store and then I bought it and made it into a machine shop. What a nice guy, you know, he definitely uh, hooked us up with a lot of good info. Um, pretty much he says a lot of people here are crooked, the cops are crooked, the mayor is crooked, people in the past that were once mayor were crooked before them. So, I mean, this town, is, this town has been going through a lot of stuff and, I mean, we're going to keep on exploring still, but, you know, a lot of people, um, we already got, a, we already got a, a complaint of us even being here because we're filming. Wow, this is their national bank. The architecture is great with those eagles. And you come down and you see it though, it's gone. Look at this one. This one's really run down. Um, maybe they're doing some kind of repairs on this one. Let's go see. Oh, dude. Is that like from the Derby? The Punch Buggy Derby thing? That movie? It looks like, I've never seen a car like that. That's why, though. Yeah, this one's just really run down. Yep. Doesn't even have a door, and look at the ceiling. Yeah, everything's gonna cave in. For sure. Yeah. Whoa, this was a gym. Yeah, I know definitely it's abandoned. This sign's gone. But look at that, they're doing something to it. Oh, they closed down this restaurant. This is why we have to support independent places instead of those big chains, man. It's ruining stuff, and here's a big example. One thing about the South is some places are going to look so old, so run down, so rusted, but yet they're not abandoned at all. So This plantation house was used in Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies 2003 and 2006. This house was built in Austin in the 1800s, then moved by train in the 1930s, and rebuilt brick by brick where it now sits. Because of the location and its natural airy look, it was perfect for the movies. 
Although, while the house does look awesome, visitors should be aware that it is on private property and the owners aren't so nice.